drugs. Public enemy number one, they said. It's 2021. The war against drugs is 50 years old. I'm at a doctor's appointment. Do you smoke? The doctor asks. Not tobacco, I say. How about anything else, she insists. A little weed every now and then, I reply. She's not surprised. It seems that something has changed. What we say has changed. What we say about marijuana has changed. What the media says, what the law says about the accursed plant. That plant of which they said that it made black men rape white women about its medicinal use, about its recreational use, what we say has changed. Now I can say, yes, I smoke weed, next question. But now I'm the one asking the questions. Should I say that I use other drugs? Separated mothers and fathers separated from their children by a drug test, by a positive drug test. Parental neglect, some institutions call it. Should I say it? Should I say that I use other drugs? My son is 16 years old. We're relatively happy. He's well cared for and doing exceedingly well in school. They shouldn't care about any of that. Should I say that I use other drugs? They also wouldn't care about the toxicology exam. It really doesn't mean anything, anything about my abilities. Do I use drugs or not? That's what matters. Should I say it? Should I say that I use other drugs? I shouldn't say anything, I think. I'm tired. Tired of silence, tired of not being honest, tired of pretending, pretending that marijuana is different, different from other drugs. Why? Why can't I say, yes, marijuana? Why can't I say, yes, mushrooms, LSD, MDMA, cocaine, ketamine, heroin? Should I say that I use other drugs? We say alcohol is okay, but not heroin. No, it's too dangerous, we say. Good intentions can't hide our ignorance. Drug, pharmacon, medicine or poison depends on the dose, on the person, on the intention, on the context, on education, on dealer's promises. On what we can say out loud too. 2021, and silence begets guilt. A silence too much like a lie. Great personalities disclose their past drug use. Always in the past tense. They don't say, I like cocaine. They don't say, my husband does too. Thousands, millions of grown-ups in silence. In fear of caricature. Caricature of a problematic soul, an irresponsible, failed one. Marginalization, demonization, shame. What can silence tell us about freedom? Should I say that I use other drugs? If freedom is responsibility, the conscience of consequences, what is the contribution of silence? Yes, knowing yourself isn't easy. Respect isn't easy. Growing up is hard work, but everything else is exhausting too. Government's telling us what to think, what to put in our bodies, how to live. So silence is disinformation. It's a risk. Freedom, they taught us, is to leave our own values without hurting anybody. Anything else I should know, the doctor asks? And I say, cocaine, heroin, ecstasy. Huh? She explains, eyes wide open. Truth and freedom are sometimes risky. That's what history taught us. What is the contribution of silence? Should I say it? Should I say that I use other drugs?